I'm gonna keep the intro short cause we have a hella battle between 6 Path of Pain and Naruto. I can't wait to witness the beatdown Sage Mo Naruto gonna do to Pain. The Akatsuki leader has legit been dicking on everyone in Konoha in the last episode. So it's time for the Leaf Village to counter back with their strongest gaining ever. As per usual, I will cover the rest of the Pain Assault arc today, which corresponds to manga chapter 431 to 450, which equates to anime episode 163 to 175. So while for Otaku, smash my intro! Sage Mo Naruto along with powerful Todd Squad enter the stage. They immediately shocked by the devastated Konoha village. Naruto instantly confronted Pain. Tsunade appeared and wants to battle Pain but she has spent too much of her chakra trying to heal the injured shinobi. As a result, she is no match for Pain. Ashura Path was revived and was sent to attack the 5th Hokage. Naruto countered it with Lao Sengan in a blink of eye and destroyed the Ashura path once again. Poor guy, Mama is getting destroyed every other episode. For the next attack, Animal Path summoned it three giant creatures to attack the target. The Konoha Shinobi handled the trio by throwing the giant rhino Follow up with Senses, Odama La Sengan, and the Tot Squad's attack. Prita Path engaged it in a physical combat with his target. Despite Prita Pain dodged the strike, Naruto still managed to use Frog Kata to connect a hook onto Pain while using the natural energy. The two exchanged a few words and the Konoha Shinobi was shocked to discover that the man who is responsible for this mass destruction was Jiraiya Sensei's student. Pain then offered his ideology to his Kohai, sacrifice himself and the night tail beast for peace. This has enraged Naruto and he has activated Lasen Shuriken, the very same s rank ninjas that damaged his arm internally when landed. But to alter the recoil damage, the spiky gaining decided to throw the attack as a shuriken at pain. Five paths of pain tried to escape from the Lasen Shuriken, but Naruto widened the attack range by extending his ninjas, which resulted in human path being completely destroyed. A few moments later, Naruto ran out of Sensei's chakra. Fukasaku assisted Naruto with Dust Cloud, obstructing Pain's shared vision, while instructing Gamma Buta to swallow and isolate both Naruto and Animal Path, allowing the gaining to use the remaining natural chakra to land the combo Rasengan strikes. As a result, Naruto has run out of natural chakra, which forced him to shut down Sage Mode. Pain did not waste this golden opportunity and launched the attack immediately, but little did he know, the Jinju Liku had already came up with a solution to this problem. Fukasaku summoned the Naruto Shadow Clone that is full of natural energy from Mount Yoboku, which enables Naruto to transfer the natural energy from his clone to the host body and reactivate Sage Mode once again. Sage Mo user rapidly threw another Rasen Shuriken at his target, but his attack was absorbed by the already damaged Preter Path. This allows Naruto to discover that the outer path can relieve over pain by King of Hell technique. The Konoha Shinobi decided to make this a priority. He first summoned two Shadow Clones, then he launched the Rasen Shuriken at pain, only for it to discover that it was just Naruto mimicking Rasen Shuriken. While Naruto used it, this gap and launched it another Lasen Shuriken at his target. Diva Pen immediately used the Shinra Tensei to repel the attack. At the very same moment, Naruto followed it up with another attack and used the Lasen Rengan to critically damage Outer Path. Diva Pen counters with Shinra Tensei, which knocks out three giant Tots, rendering Naruto to fight two of the remaining paths of pain by himself. Diva Pain pulls the Night Tail Fox container towards the Vibanso Tensei. He managed to absorb natural chakra, but it turns out that he has absorbed too much and turned himself into a frog statue and being destroyed. 
The Akatsuki leader tried once more and he has finally pinned his target onto the floor with a rod after Naruto tried to protect Fukasaku. The rod absorbed his chakra, rendering the Jinju liquid useless. Pain then explained to Naruto that the shinobi wolf has destroyed his family, friend and his home due to the chain of hatred and vengeance within the five great nations. He then questioned whether or not Naruto has a solution to end this pain to which Spiky Gaining simply couldn't answer it. Pen continued his lecture and explained that by obtaining all nine tail beasts, he would form the ultimate weapon and nations would fear the weapon of mass destruction and not enter another war, establishing world peace. Later we found out that the six paths of pain were actually controlled by a fatigued terminally ill shinobi, Nagato. Elsewhere in Konoha, Hinata spotted Naruto by Byakugan and discovered that he was in danger. Childhood memory flashes in her mind as she recalls village residents spreading rumors and gossip about Naruto due to the fear of Nine-Tailed Fox. One day, Chao Hinata was bullied by a group of trashy pricks and Naruto stepped in and protected her. Now it's her time to help Naruto as Hinata entered the battlefield. Naruto was shocked to see Hinata in the field and tried to convince her to flee as pain is way above her league and she would for sure face death when going up against the Katsuki leader. Hinata was determined to free Naruto despite the high likelihood of death. Diva Path used its Shinra Tensei to blast her away. The princess of Byakugan clan stood up and activated the high rank gentle fist technique, Juho Shushuken, and threw a combination of technique at pain. After countless attempts, she finally landed a significant strike on Diva Pain due to Nagato losing control for a second from coughing blood. Hinata took this chance to destroy one of the rod. Before she could land another strike, Diva Pain expelled the Byakugan user across the sky with more powerful Shinra Tensei. Her body clashed it against the crater with blood pouring out of her skull. Summoning her tenacity and grit, Hinata managed to crawl up. Pain questioned why would she go through such an extent to save a Jinji Liku. She explained how Naruto has changed her view and gave her courage to face Nenji during the tuning exam. Hinata ended the confession with she never gives up saving Naruto, knowing full well death is certain and that is her Nindo. ジメで宇宙にしてて変なやつだと思ってたけどお前みたいなやつって結構好きだってばよなぜ戦う死ぬと分かっているのまっすぐ自分の言葉は負けないそれが私の Diva Pain used the final Shinra Tensei to pull the Byakugan user up to sky, a high altitude that exceeded all the previous attack and smashed her down to the ground. He then finished her off with a blade. The scenery of murder enraged Naruto, causing him to completely lose control and enter the Nine-Tail Fox mode with intense anger. The Jinju Liku advanced it straight to fourth tail form and engaged in the battle with pain. A few attack exchanges occurred and the fourth tail beast managed to land a hook across pain's face and bury him under the debris. The anger continues to intensify, causing Naruto to quickly advance onto the sixth tail beast form with a skeleton on his back. Naruto landed a series of fearsome combination attacks on Diva Pain and sent him across the battlefield with powerful shots. The monster then starts firing a tail beast bomb at Pain non-stops, bombarding him with firepower. 
Diva Puff managed to evade the attack and deflected some of the chakra cannon by Shinra Tensei. In the far distance, the fifth Hokage tried to calm Naruto down with the first Hokage's necklace, but this had little effect on the furious Jinji Liku. Diva Pen used the Buso Tensei against the tail beast bomb, causing a huge explosion to erupt. The Katsuki leader fled from the battlefield and he has led Naruto closer to the host body in order for Nagato to transfer more chakra to the Diva Pen and activate one of his most strongest powerful ninja, Chibaku Tensei. Creating a mini black hole in the sky, gravitating and crushing everything within the close proximity. The six tail beast was trapped inside, and the gravity was simply too strong for him to handle. The Jinchu Liku moved on to the next stage again as anger fully took over his body. The 8th tail beast exploded out of the surface. The devil's voice was whispering in Naruto's ear and he has fully succumbed to the demon fox. The devil then instructed him to unlock the tail beast control. In the very last moment, a firm yet familiar hand halted Naruto's action and dispelled the notorious QB. It turns out that the mysterious figure was the fourth Hokage and he has transported his psyche into Naruto when he sealed the Night Tail Demon Fox inside him. What is even more surprising was that the fourth Hokage, Minato, was actually Naruto's father. No Detective Conan. Naruto was got smacked and tears start to roll down his face as he punched his father, questioning why would he seal the nine tails inside him. It has caused him so much trouble growing up and everyone hated him because of that. Minato revealed that he believed in Naruto and he has faith in him one day being able to use the demon fox as his power. He followed up with an explanation of what happened 16 years ago. It turns out that there was a masked man in Akatsuki gear who tried to manipulate the demon fox and attack the Konoha village. Subsequently, he told Naruto that he has faith in him answering Pain's question in regard to role peace as he seals the demon fox back into Naruto's body. As a result, the fourth Hokage has used the up his chakra and starts to fade away in Naruto's subconscious mind. Pain was shocked to discover that the eighth tail beast has disappeared. Simultaneously, Naruto has returned to the normal state, then activated Sage Mode once again. Naruto wants to speak to the real Pain, but Diva Path refuses. Naruto was able to capture the rod using Frog Kata and reverse tracked Nagato's location. Time is ticking, Naruto needs to end this battle as soon as possible. Sage Mo Naruto launched it Rasen Shuriken at Pain, but he repelled it with Shinra Tensei. Moments later, he followed it up with another Rasen Shuriken, but Pain avoided it in mid-air. Using the 5 second gap, the spiky gaining rushed the armies of Shadow Clone to attack the target, but it was repelled away at the very last moment. A second later, Naruto shot himself across the sky and struck his enemy with the final Rasengan. Sakura rapidly start healing Hinata's wound while her medic needs it. Why are jealous of them? Be a bit of them. Naruto decided to speak to the real pin face to face by himself once he had tracked it down his location while Sage Mo. 
The spiky gaining finally saw the Akatsuki leader and the man who is behind Pain, Nagato and his partner Conan. The reigning gun holder tried to immobilize Naruto while shooting the blood chakra rod at him but ended up incapacitating himself when Naruto used the night tail chakra to lock him up. Nagato questions him, do you hate me as I have killed both Jiraiya and Kakashi sensei? The killer vengeance's aspect took over and urged Naruto to slaughter the criminal, but Conan's action of shielding Nagato reminded Naruto about Jiraiya and his father for Hokage's wishes of breaking the chain of hatred and vengeance in the current shinobi world, as hate can only give birth to more hate, which gave birth to individuals like pain. Naruto freed Nagato and asked the ex-students of Jiraiya Sensei to share their story, encounters and the reason behind the attack. And then we have two episodes of filler which we don't give a damn about. Let's move on. Skip, skip. Nagato's story begins with his tragic past of his whole family being murdered in the Amegakuen by the Konoha Shinobi. This enraged Nagato which unlocked it Renegan and he has easily avenged his parent by murdering the two shinobi. The orphan soon met two of the most precious individuals of his life, Conan and Yahiko, after Conan discovering him on the street and offered him some food. Nagato soon learned that in order to survive they need to commit necessary crimes like stealing food. Oh by the way he also met a cute dog called Chibi, they had a lot of good memories together but he was unfortunately being killed by an explosive kunai from the battle between Danzo and the legendary Sanin. Once the reigning gun user learned about Yahiko's dream of eliminating world poverty like God, he quickly became a follower of the goal and wants to help him to achieve the elusive dream. After some time, the three orphans managed to meet the legendary standing Jiraiya and became his student. However, good time did not last long. The tragedy begins post the departure of Jiraiya. The trio continue to fulfill Yahiko's ambition while recruiting similar minded shinobi and form a group called Akatsuki in the village. Akatsuki soon become more and more powerful by the day and the movement of peace is getting stronger as a result. This triggered the power first leader Danzo fearing Akatsuki would overtake him soon. As a result, he recruited some help from Danzo and set a trap to invite them over. Subsequently, Conan was captured as the hostage and Hanzo has instructed Nagato to kill his best friend. Without hesitation, Yahiko launched himself into the blade and told Nagato he is the true savior of the world with his last breath. Danzo instantly reneged. He ordered his squad along with Danzo's squad to attack Nagato and Conan. This infuriates Nagato, as a result he activated demonic statue of Outer Path and used it to engulf all the attackers so. However, Nagato also suffered from the huge side effect of activating the forbidden ninjas. Nagato finishes the story with giving up his ninja headband and take over Akatsuki as the new leader. The reigning gun holder then questioned Naruto how would he achieve world peace. The spiky gaining simply said he doesn't know yet, but he believed he will one day have the ability to break the chain of hatred and bring peace to the shinobi world. 
The speech shocked Nagato as these were the very same words that his teacher Jiraiya once mentioned. Naruto then pulled out Jiraiya's first ever published novel, The Tale of the Utterly Gusty Shinobi, and stated that Jiraiya has bestowed him with the protagonist's name and it is his role to fulfill the goal of the Gusty Shinobi to achieve world peace as a sequel to to the novel. Ex student rebutes his claim, saying that Jiraiya's teaching is outdated and there's no guarantee that Naruto would not fall off his own path after experiencing tragedy and pain like himself. Naruto agreed with the Akatsuki leader to a certain extent as he will never forget what they did to Konoha. But he wants to follow Jiraiya's teaching of breaking the chain of hatred, thus he forgives them. He then stated once he became a Hokage, he would bring peace to the Amegakuen village. Nagato was amazed and moved by Naruto's talk no zutsu. He appreciated his ideology and he has decided to place his faith and hope on his Kohai to achieve the true peace. Moments later, Nagato used it all of his remaining chakra to activate Gedo Lening Tensei no Tsutsu to resurrect all the death he has caused during the Konoha assault. Kakashi had a really meaningful conversation with his father in which he forgave his dad for leaving him at a young age and he was glad that his father chose to save his comrade over a mission. Sakumo was amazed to hear that and he can now finally move on in peace. A large number of lives were brought back to the Konoha village including Kakashi and Suzune as the reigning gun holder continued reigning Tensei with memory of Jiraiya Sensei and flashes inside his mind. Nagato used it his final breath to place his faith on Naruto on achieving true peace. これこそが本当の神の仕業なのか、ナルト。お前だったら本当。ヤヒコの夢。そしてナガトの夢。これからはお前が二人の夢だ。ナガトがお前を信じたなら、私はお前を信じる。その答えをお前に託すとしようかの
目の前に英雄がいます We have finally finished the Pain of Soul arc. It was probably one of the longest arcs so far in Shippuden, but it is also by far one of the best arcs. As per usual, there is no one simple sided villain in Naruto. We finally learn about Nagato's motive and how he transformed from a shy Renin Gun user to a Chuni Bell goth that screams pain and revenge all the time. I also really like the moment where Hinata protects Naruto despite risking her whole life. That's some waifu material, my G. Naruto, you better hurry up and cuff her. This is the exact moment where I fully say, Suck Narusaku. Naruhina was the true ship. Look, I don't hate Sakura, in fact, quite the opposite. I really liked her as a character in Shippuden, especially after the battle she and Lady Chiyo had with Sasori. I don't dislike weak character. I dislike useless character that only screams for help while doing relatively f all. Like, bruh! She barely did much in this arc besides just running around and try to heal a few shinobi. But she did save Hinata, so I must give her props for that.、Nice. But that is not enough as the main female protagonist of the show. She doesn't even try to fight pain, she just screams for Naruto when s h hits the fan. And the worst thing is, she basically just stood there and watched Naruto being slaughtered by pain. In comparison, Hinata knew she is weak and knew she would probably die, but yet she still f i g h t pain and managed to land a hit and help Naruto to clear two black chakra rods. She is like a true homie that backs you up when s h i t s get real. But Sakura is that one friend that got you into a f i g h t and does absolutely f all to help you. And then trying to celebrate with you in the end. Man, get the f u c k out of here. Overall, I will give part 2 a score of 8.7 out of 10. The battle is really good. There's also a lot of good character development like Hinata and Nagato. It was nice to see Naruto avenged it for Jiraiya and became a hero of Konoha Village. The only downside is probably that weird two episode of filler in between the acts. Oh, we also learned once again how powerful Tokno Zizi is. So far, the only Ninzi that is unbreakable and defeated every villain. With that being said, I will hopefully see you soon in the next arc. You weep, stay safe, and stay blessed. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>